this video, I will demonstrate how to apply payments for fines in the Symphony workflow system. Be sure to refer to the fines guide in the manual to see how this video fits into the full fine payment procedure. First, make sure you are in the JLC circulation module. Then, under Common Tasks, you will click on Paying Bills. Next, you will scan in the barcode on the card of the patron whose account you are trying to access. You may also type in the ID number and hit Enter, but be sure you verify the person's information and see an ID before giving them any information from the account. Near the center of the screen, we see this area called Total Bills and Payments. Now, our system calls fines bills, and that's okay. Don't let it confuse you. We're talking about the same thing. Total Bills just lets you know that there's fines from two separate items. The total owed tells you how much the person owes today. These boxes here we'll talk about more in a minute. It's where you'll actually apply their fines. Near the bottom of the screen, you'll see this box, Individual Bills and Payments. This will list each fine on the patron's account and give additional information that may be useful. Here you can see the item title, the reason for the fine, how much the person still owes on that fine, further to the right here, how much was billed initially, and the date of the bill, which would mean the date the item was returned. Clicking on this dotted line underneath the amount owed gives you some great information that you can convey to the patron. Here you see details about when the item was due. Here we see May 3rd, 2013, and when the item was returned. We can let them know that they returned the item three days late, which accounts for the $3 fine at $1 a day. Let's close out of this, and we can go back to our screen here. If the person is ready to pay their fine, you can type it into one of two areas. If they're paying off their entire balance, in this case $4.70, I recommend typing the total up here where it says payment, 4.70. We always leave the payment type as cash, except in the case where we are waiving fines. Be sure to refer to the manual so you understand what rare occasions it's appropriate for you to waive a fine. We'll leave it as cash here, and we can click on Pay Bills. Now, I don't want to do that quite yet because I want to demonstrate what happens when you have someone who wants to pay just part of their fine. Let's delete this $4.70 up here, and we're going to say this individual wants to pay the $2 on the item called DEX. When I type it in there and then click Pay Bills, instantly you will see the screen refresh and it will show that we now owe zero dollars on DEX. We can see that they still owe two dollars and seventy cents for the other item. Now you can click on Pay More Bills which would allow you to pay additional fines on this account and you can see it refreshed. It's showing just the one fine of $2.70. If we want to go ahead and clear all the fines, type it into this box up here. We can hit enter or click on pay bills. And now the balance is zero. When you're done, simply click close. And that's it. Now you're ready to practice accepting fines.